What up, it's Melvin7 here, and today I'm going to be reviewing all of the Black Friday content that has already came out. Obviously some of it will have expired, the Flash SPCs, and some of the content that they released just before, like on the pre-Black Friday thing. Just to see if this promo was actually any good really. Um, I realise I haven't made uh, any videos and that's because I was planning to do this all in one. Uh, there might be some stuff tomorrow, of course the promo ends on Monday. But most of it will probably already be out. So today we got an Alessandrini flashback card. Uh, an 85 overall team. The card itself is 85 rated. You need a team of the week 70 chemistry. 4 star, 4 star. Chinese league but he's French. Um, so you know he offers some uh, links at least. And it's a right mid. EA have kind of gravitated towards making so many insane left mids. And right backs to be honest. But mainly left mids. And there's been not very many right mids. So, you know, this could be a good shout, especially if you've got someone like Mbappe, Martial, or um, Ben Yedda up front, or you've done the Molly, you've got Kante, Pogba, Varane, Mendy. You know, there's so many options. It's not too bad. Uh, an 85 rated squad. I'm going to have a quick look on Footbin, but I think roughly it's about 80k, I want to say. So it's not bad value but again I still think it's a little overpriced uh, personally the cards good but again you can only really link him to French players um, of course there's that silver in form uh, silver stars card that you could link him to but you, you probably want someone a little bit better uh, in terms of a French right back I don't really think there's many um, so you know unless you get a strong Couple of links where you play him on seven or eight cam, or you put him up front, um, you know, in a right forward position. Now I'm just uh, checking roughly what an 85 rated squad is coming in at. Again, I think it's about 80k. Um, I will say I do like the volume of stuff that EA have gave us. Like I think that's a big dub. Before I go on to anything else, the content that they've dropped for Black Friday, whether it's good or bad, there's been a lot of it. Uh, and yeah, you're looking at roughly about 80k for Alessandri with the info, maybe 90. So. I think it's overpriced, but the card itself is quite good. And, you know, he was good in previous FIFA's 4-star, four 4-star, four high-medium. It, it's good, but, again, do you really want it? Do you really need it? it? It's completely personal preference, of course. Now, they released the Icon SBCs, and I really hope they drastically change these. They are slightly cheaper than the first three that they released in Hernandez, uh, Veron, and Burkamp. Obviously, this is what I'm talking about. The other three, Figo, Van der Sar, and um, Zanetti were even more expensive but these three are slightly less but it's still overkill I i'm pretty sure only Bergkamp comes in cheaper as the sbc i think veron and hernandez are more to craft than to buy which is just ridiculous an sbc should be 50 percent of the market value max because it's untradeable you're putting all your coins in and there's a time wall on it so for me it's been a huge l with the icon sbc so far um they're nothing like they used to be the first time they brought them out, they were great. Um, I remember the very first one, I think, was Rio Costa. And, uh, you know, I can't remember exactly how much he cost, but it was like 200k max, and everyone had him. It was just fun to use. Sorry, um, there was three, I think. There was Del Piero as well, was one of the first ones. And I got him in, man, he was insane. But yeah, uh, there's a Sergio Aguero flashback. If you've done this, I think, you know, you, unless you're a City fan, an Argentina fan, of course... You know, if you want to link him to try and do a Maradona um, squad, uh, you know, a tribute uh, type thing like Castro did, then fair enough. But, um, yeah, I mean, 400k for that card, it, it's absurd. Again, I like the idea of making flashbacks and making them a lower rating with uh, completely different stats for an earlier point in their career, which was, of course, when City won the title uh, that year. But yeah, um, I, that's a huge L. Right, this I believe is new for today, the 82 plus uh, player pick. Uh, I think it's just one. Okay, so that's not too bad. I, I will complete this uh, now. Hopefully I've got enough in the squad, uh, in the squad, in the club to complete this. Uh, but I think this is worth doing. Uh, you get three 82 plus players to pick from. 70 chemistry is a little bit high. The 81s will be slightly more than they usually are. Uh, because of all the other SBCs that are out currently. But still, I feel like this one is a win. Um, and it's worth doing. Like, testing your luck. At the end of the day, max it's going to cost you really is like 10k. So, uh, 
again maybe it's a little overpriced in that regard if, if it does come in at 10k but um you know it, it, it's a lottery at the end of the day this is the type of content that i enjoy so maybe i'm being a bit biased um but yeah i, I feel like it's worth a shot at the end of the day i'm gonna do it um and yeah if you want to do it fair enough if you don't pff, no sweat off my back of course um so yeah i'm just gonna see what we're working with hopefully i can get the chemistry of course that isn't oh it is the brain oh wow wow i've got the rating just with that i might not even need any 82s no it's just the chemistry that's going to screw me up um of course but we, we'll we'll work on that uh right if we do that that'll probably drop the chem right we're up to 50 chemistry there we've got a strong link not bad Right, we can't really get too much more there, so gonna have to start changing players around. Um, what do we have? Sorry, we have uh, Bundesliga. Yeah, this might be a slightly longer video, but I don't know. Maybe you like this type of uh, content, but I thought it, it's it's definitely worth me going through it um, and just giving my thoughts. Really, that's the whole idea of this series. Uh, really. Um, Again, yeah, 70 chemistry is a little bit extreme. Um, I won't lie, but uh, honestly, I've rinsed my club. I'm sure so many of you have as well, uh, which I guess is uh, what EA wanted, which is a little bit of a shame. And yes, I know this has taken me far longer than it should, uh, but we, we will get it done. Uh, we'll use David Luiz. UCL cards really don't matter at the minute. Um, do we have another goalkeeper other than Mingy? We do. I don't really want to use Pope. Um, ooh. Right, we're up to 67, but we don't have the chemistry. Okay, 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 okay. If I did that. That's good enough, right. Right, there we go. So we've done that now. Sorry, I know that took a, a little bit longer than it should have done, but yeah, uh, 70 chemistry. I would say that's probably going to cost you 10K. Yes, mine's a little bit of an overkill. Um, you know, you shouldn't be using all that stuff, but I'm trying to speed it up for the process of the video. So we might as well open this now, see what we can get. Um, well, it was a big fat L for me. We got Azpil Equator, uh, an 84. So I've made a loss on that particular one. Uh, we've got a rare player pick that's repeatable uh, for one of three gold players. Oh, uh, I thought it was silvers, but yeah, you need seven golds. Maybe it's worth doing a couple of those, but I don't know. Um, not a huge fan of that. The League One uh, double upgrade, the Syria, all of those. Um, I love this type of content. Um, I will try and craft a few because I want to try and get uh, Mbappe or Ronaldo. They are a coin sink, to be fair, but they are quite fun. So I like these SBCs. Uh, let me know what you think of them. The three player pack, uh, again, is quite worth it. Uh, you know, you just need 30 chemistry, exactly three gold. And I think you get one rare from that, do you? Yeah, one rare and three players from that league. So it's a way so you can keep rinsing, repeating. I like the, this content. Uh, how long is it there for? It's there for four days. So yeah, I, you know, if you like this type of thing, get involved with it. It's uh, pretty good. In terms of the Flash SPCs that they released, i got to say most of them were absolutely shit. Um, you know, it had that triple 81 plus pack, which was okay. Um, there was a couple of other little ones. Uh, I liked the 83 double upgrade pack. It was a little bit excessive, but then most of them were just prime Electrum packs, a two rare gold players pack, 15K pack. It was just pretty whack, to be honest. In terms of the packs they released, there was new packs, of course. <laughs> and they're doing more lightning rounds. And there you go, you've got some 100K packs. Do not spend money on this game. It's your choice, your prerogative, of course, if you enjoy FIFA go nuts but in my personal opinion uh as someone who's spent since fifa 11 nah it, it's it, you just never get value for money it's an absolute rip off 20 pounds per pack honestly i hope they get investigated and something gets done in later years so that yeah they can't continue with this blatant extortion that it is but anyhow uh some of the new pack types the seven times 81 plus pack i did do um I think I got Thiago Silva. There was also the um, five times 82 plus pack, 
which I think I got someone like Bernardo Silva. Uh, no, actually, I didn't. I didn't even get a walkout. It was like an 84. Uh, 50K and 75K, respectively. They, they they definitely changed the weights, and that's one annoying thing about this promo. Um, the weights were excessively low for everything. There's a best-of team of the week in packs, of course, but pff, I haven't even packed, like, a walkout team of the week. Like, uh, you know, if we look on the actual team of the week... We've got, you know, Leno, Fernando, Carrasco, um, Digne, Lukaku, Haaland, and Neuer. Obviously, Ronaldo as well. But, um, yeah, I didn't pack any of those. And I opened a hell of a lot of packs. I saved a lot of packs. Uh, a video will be coming later with a lot of, um, you know, of the packs that I've done and other ones that I will be doing. Um, but, yeah, the weights are just ridiculously low. These record breakers... I like the concept, but I hate the fact there's only five. And to be honest, there's only really one that anyone would want, and that's Mbappe. Falcao's already about 30k. Sancho's not quite up to scratch. Same with David Silva. Uh, who's the other one? I can't actually remember. I know that's bad. I should know. It, it's someone like Oscar, isn't it, or something? It's not Oscar. Who is it? I don't want to click news because every time I do that, it screws up. But yeah, I mean... In terms of promo content that's in packs, it's almost impossible to pack it. And yes, most of the time they always are, but I, it just seems the first day of Black Friday, they know everyone's going to spend, they're going to do everything, so the, the weights are as low as they possibly can be. In terms of what they released, this record breaker Rodrigo is okay. I, I like earning cards, but realistically... At this stage in FIFA, I just don't understand how I'm going to use them. Even for a La Liga team, man. I've got Fatty, I've got Anarchy Williams. Um, there's tons of other cards. Like I, I don't know who's going to realistically earn this and him go straight into your team. I think he's behind the power curve already. So although I like earning players and this sort of thing, seven wins, um, you know, all this other crap, I don't think it's worth it personally. Um, and if anyone's watched any of my videos, you'll know how much I love content like this. I just feel like the card isn't good enough, really. Uh, the Black Friday thing, brilliant. I love this. Um, it's a bit silly having a 25k pack as the overall reward when you get a draft token, a 25k pack, and two mega packs. It should have been a 50k pack or a 100k pack for this, but again, all you got to do to play the game uh, to get... 125k's worth of packs so it's not bad that's a big big win uh the Serie A player this came out before black friday or in pre black friday i think it's good but again it comes back to a point i said earlier in the video there's so many left mids i am struggling with all my left mids that i've got in the club i have no right mids that i can like use or link like i've got a conundrum where i'm trying to get ronaldo trying to get um verna rashford neymar into like a team and there's just i either have to play neymar on the right or rashford on the right um you know this card would have been great to link with ronaldo if he was a right mid but it's another conundrum if you play him on the right you can link him to the bellerin which of course was released um again weird choice i don't know why he picked bellerin um I, I, i've done some of it and i will do it because i like earning cards um but this one's kind of like the rodrigo for me um just not really up to scratch at this stage like i mean it's it's decent but you get the exact same from just buying nelson Semedo or kyle walker on the market really uh the syria player a really good card it's a phenomenal card and syria doesn't actually have too many left mids it's just overall in the game you know there are so many so many so yeah uh, me personally would have preferred him to be a right mid uh but anyhow silver stars of course this was released ages ago i will do it i love the silver star stuff i've got every single one of them so far also the sbc for the silver stars that ea did for the record breaker that was brilliant 82 rated squad is going to set you back at the time was fifteen thousand. Uh, i think that would have expired by now but yeah i have done that one uh, the german right mid uh, with really really good stats um was there anything else right this i'm sick of these team events they are shite they are i'm sorry they are shite this needs to improve drastically i've picked balak he's gonna win of course he is but what is the point like what do we actually get for doing this so complete at least one to be eligible all you get is a tifo like what is the point 
if it's a TIFO and a pack or a TIFO and a player, then fair enough. But uh, come on, this is what, the fifth team event or the fourth team event? And it's just dire. And yet again, the um, requirements to get it are the same. The same shit that nobody cares about. And you get a prime electrum for doing it. Like, no, it's absurd. They released Silver Beasts, and because it's so good, they, they barely ever released that anymore for the untradeable 55k pack. That's the type of thing that this should be giving you because, you know, it's a team event. You want people to work towards it, to do all they can to win whatever the prize is. But in order for people to do that, the prize has to be worth it. So in my opinion, team events, I love the sound of them, but so far they've been shite, absolute abysmal from a year there. That's a huge, huge L for me. Um, the EFL stuff I've, I've went through in a previous video, of course. Uh, it's similar to the MLS stuff. I like it. Again, more of this would be fantastic, just so people have a choice of what to play with, uh, play for. That's what I love here. You've got a La Liga player, you've got a Serie A player, PL player, uh, you've got the MLS stuff if you haven't already done that. You've got the championship stuff to earn, uh, the Black Friday stuff. I love being able to earn a lot. So in, in terms of the objectives, although some of them are behind the power curve, some of them aren't as good as they should be. I like the volume that EA are releasing. Like, I think that is a big dub. But yeah, uh, Black Friday, as everyone on FIFA always says every year, is supposed to be about you know con um, corporations and businesses giving back to their consumers. And yet again, EA just... Uh, we all know that all they care about is the money. That's why these lightning rounds are there. But we're stupid enough to give them said money. The lightning rounds already expired. And <laughs> oh, there was like, what, 150,000 ultimate packs yesterday. 100 or 200k jumbo, uh, like 100k packs. And then 50k and uh, 50k, 50k packs. PS5 uh, had double the amount. And yeah. They sold out practically. Most uh, promos sold out. And then they had the new packs as well. So, you know, they, they've made tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions during this promo. And uh, that's the whole point of it, really. Um, so I'm kind of happy, well, I'm very happy that I haven't spent a penny. I have spent some coins, and I think I'm going to spend some more coins just to do some of the upgrades. Because I, I want to have fun, and that's what I find fun on FIFA. I just don't want to spend to do it. So this is the team I'm rocking, 95 Chemistry. Again, I wish Chemistry was gone, man. Like, I want to be using, uh, you know, Werner, uh, Ronaldo, Neymar, and then I can sell Bruno and Rashford. Even though I love them, I can sell them and then just use the cards that I've earned. I can use this Teleska or this Ansu Fati or this Lewandowski, who I kind of regret doing now because... I pack Neymar, so you know I can't I can't do my Bundesliga trio without having to sub on Neymar, and yeah, uh, chemistry just needs to go because it, it's getting too hard to link everyone, and then you're at a deficit if you don't have full chem like I do, and it's just not as fun. So yeah, I hope chemistry goes because yeah, I I want to be able to use Ronaldo and Neymar and Werner in the same team without you know having a deficit, but that's not really uh, linked to Black Friday. But yeah, I'm going to do a few of those upgrade packs. I'll have a video out on that. But what do you think overall? Personally, I think Black Friday, I think the volume of content is a huge, huge dub. The Flash SBCs every couple of hours, even though most of them are quite shit, you know, it was still content that you could do. So big win for that. But most of the content that they have released is either overpriced, driven so you uh, buy packs. The whole concept of these upgrades is to rinse your club uh, so, you know, you've got nothing left and then you think, oh, I want to do some of them. I'm going to load up some FIFA points, which it's a good business model. But yeah, <laughs> because of that, it's it, I mean, uh, it's personal preference again. But uh, yeah, it's it's hard to generalize, but I like the upgrade packs, So I will say they're like a win. But the whole purpose of them is to rinse every coin out of your club and make you fully untradeable. So you go out and buy uh, packs which is of course an L but yeah what do you think overall I think Black Friday is probably I don't know I don't know if it's as good as some of the other ones I feel like it was it's better this year than it was last year um, but again SBCs are getting far too overpriced and that needs to get worked on so possibly like a an on the fence win or L like 
Dobo L, I, I'm going to say it's a 50-50, which, you know, probably isn't the whole point of this video, but <laughs> yeah, what do you think? Anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, and yeah, peace.